Thank you for clicking through to this video, which is number 11 of 12 on crankshaft seals and bog down. I have uploaded the full 12 reasons in a crash course in a previous video, so please do check it out. But I've listed them separate here just to make things a little simpler. OK, so that brings me on nicely to my number 11, which is the crankshaft seals or the main seals as they're well known. And the main seals, of course, are here and it's where the crankshaft sticks out of the crankcase. And to better explain this point, I'll need a view from this angle. So I'll turn this engine round so we can see this face. There we go. And again, it's just a very basic drawing. It's showing more or less the same components. We've got the crankshaft here sticking out the crankcase. And as you can see, we've got the air fuel mixture just the same. And it goes up to the top of the piston there. But the emphasis on this point is this area here. These are the main seals and they keep in the pressure, if you like, inside the crankcase. So we've got the crankshaft sticking out there both sides. But the main seals here keep the pressure inside. And of course they do so whilst allowing the crankshaft to turn the flywheel. There is only one crank seal on each side of the crankcase, by the way. I've only put two arrows on each side to indicate the span of my crank seal on my drawing. And as I've said, the job of the crank seal is to keep an airtight seal there on the shaft, right there where the arrow's pointing. And it keeps all of this fuel and air mixture within the crankcase here. So it prevents this vital fuel air mixture there from escaping, but also it prevents any air being drawn in in that area. Because as we know, when the piston goes up, it creates a vacuum behind it. And if those seals aren't working correctly or they're damaged in any way, it can draw air into the crankcase there. And of course, we know what that's going to do. It's going to mess around with that special fuel air mixture. There's going to end up being too much air there to fuel. And it's going to weaken the mixture. As the piston reciprocates, we're going to get more and more air coming through. And of course, all of the fuel air mixture is destined to go to the top of the piston for combustion. And if that mixture is not correct, then combustion isn't going to take place correctly. And in this case, it's simply all down to these seals leaking. And it's something that's often overlooked. And I have found this particular issue a little more common in the past. I've had this quite a few times. But ultimately, because of the extra air that's coming in where it shouldn't do, weakening the fuel air mixture, it will lead to bog down. One way to diagnose and be sure if you suspect crank seals are leaking is to use a pressure tester. Now, it's not my aim to go into how to use a pressure tester in this particular video. But basically, a pressure tester can be used to pump in air into the cylinder and the crankcase. And as it's pumped in, the needle on the gauge there will rise, indicating all the pressure that's inside now the crankcase and the cylinder area. And then when enough pressure has been pumped in, viewing the gauge to see whether it stays still, whether the needle stays still on the gauge or whether the needle drops will tell us whether we've got a leakage or not. So if, it, if the needle stays still, then it's holding pressure and all's OK. But if the needle drops, then we're losing air. But admittingly, the pressure gauge can also indicate leakages elsewhere, such as the barrel gaskets. So it's not just the main seals that it can reveal the leaking. Now, there is a little trick I've done in the past to save using one of these pressure gauges is when I've had the engine running and it's bogging down, I've sprayed around the crank seals with some light oil. And if the bog down sound starts to subside and engine rev increase again, then that's because it's drawing in some of that light oil there through the crank seals. And I know it's not fuel, but light oil can combust similar to fuel in the presence of air that's atomizing it. So withdrawing in that oil, it's almost correcting the mixture and making the engine rev sound slightly better. Now, this is only a method of diagnosis. It's not a method of treatment. So we can only do this for a very, very short time. I mean, this is something I've done. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just telling you what I've done in the past. But it's always worked OK for me. I've always known by doing this whether I've actually got crank seal problems or not, because it directs it straight to the source of the problem. So in the past, when I've had bogged down issues, when I've pulled the trigger on the throttle and it started to go on and what I've done is I've done this. I've sprayed it with light oil. And if the engine revs have raised again slightly, then it's indicated to me that it's drawn in oil in through them seals. And I know then that them seals are leaking. That's what I've done in the past. And it's worked for me. I personally have never had any side effects for the engine doing this, but it's up to you if you want to try this.
Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do check out my next video, which is my last one, which is number 12, and that's on stale fuel. Thank you for watching.